Hi friends, I am Shiv Bharat of Shiv360. Today in this video, I am going to tell about my journey to the place of spirituality. It is nothing but the great Tirumala Hills in, Tir in Tirupati in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is a place full of divinity, spirituality and the place which gives us a lot of power and energy. It is a much energetic place. Today in this video, I will tell about my whole journey. It was a fine Thursday night. Myself and my family went to Coimbatore to get boarded onto the bus. We all boarded onto the bus and went to our seats and started to sleep so that the next day in Tirupati we can be so fresh. We boarded onto the bus, we took our places, we started sleeping and the bus started to move. The bus moved fast in the road in the NH and made us to reach the grand place of Tirupati. We reached the Tirupati city morning 8 o'clock and we got into a resort, a 5 star hotel and got refreshed ourselves and changed our dresses and they also gave us a perfect South Indian food and also we tasted a perfect a chutney which was so spicy, which was of the Andhra style, which was so special for us in that uh, day in the morning. They, it gave us a lot of enthusiasm to move to the rest of the places in our day. And we also boarded onto the local bus which will take us to the top of the uh, hill which is nothing but to the great temple. Myself, my family and all our uh, co-people who were in the bus, boarded onto the bus and also the guide also accompanied us to the temple so that we can have the greatest experience in the temple. The bus went and went in the hill, rounded and rounded the hill to reach the top of the hill where the great temple is present. We reached the temple, we, uh, we got ready, we gave our mobile phones and also uh, we also ate some ice creams and snacks to get more refreshed, refreshed so that uh, we can be energetic in the rest time of the day. We went to the queue which is the Vaikuntam complex. We went, we uh, waited in the queue, we walked uh, in the queue, we st stood in the queue, we waited in the rooms and uh, we were much excited also to walk in the great queue. As we were going in the queue, we were astonished and excited to see the infrastructure which was available in the Tirupati and in the Tirumala Hills above the hill. We were much excited and were proud of our own country and our own culture, our own infrastructure and the great things which are being done for us and which was also done by the kings of the later times. We were also excited to think that how the people of the former times made this great infrastructure above a hill which was not so easy. While we uh, thought all these things, we were also excited to hear some of the exciting facts about this great and the magnificent temple. If you know that the temple of Lord Venkateshwara always sweats, can't you believe it? Yes, it always. The priests always used to wipe off the sweat, which is small drops of water, which is always available over on the statue of Lord Venkateshwara. It is told that Lord Vishnu, Lord Venkateshwara, always sweats because his temperature is high, more, which is more than the normal temperature. So it always sweats. So the priests always wipes off the sweat over the statue. Isn't it interesting? Also, the statue is not straight, which is center to the dome. It is somewhat right side to the dome, so that we visitors can have magnificent view over the statue. Not only this, the temple is also very rich. It's full of gold. It also have wealth of about 3 lakh crores. Can you believe it? It also has about 30,000 kilograms of gold which is magnificent and enormous. While we got excited by these facts, the queue moved away and we reached the main place, which is the hero of that grand place. We saw 
we got blessings from Lord Venkateshwara and we also came out of the main temple complex. And also the special gold Gobaram is also called as Ananda Nilayam. And as we came out, we also got some Laddu which is very very special for the great Tirumala Hills and the Tirupati Temple. Also we came out, we uh, saw the gold Gobarams and also we were astonished by seeing the amount of crowd which was present over the hills. It gave us a lot of surprise and astonishment because it was very huge crowd. Do you know guys about 30,000 people it was it, it is just minimum even about 80,000 to 1 lakh people visit the great old uh, spiritual temple each and every day. Can you believe it? Also we came out of the temple we also we were also excited to see the great uh, lake which was present there and also we walked and went to the queue for getting the magnificent and the tasty and delicious laddu which was uh, sold outside in the prasadam counter we got the laddus uh, we saw the infrastructure we got the blessings and we myself my family and all our uh, um, all the people who traveled in the bus went to uh, the local bus to move uh, to the plains so that we can visit the Padmavadi Amman temple in Alamelu Mangabaram which was very lit, which was uh, much closer to Tirupati. The bus started from Tirupati to reach Alamelu Mangabaram to the Padmavadi temple. We reached the temple, we soon went to the queue and uh, we uh, stood in the queue, the queue moved and finally we reached the main place and also we got bless, blessings from Bhatmavadi Amman in the temple. We, came, we went out of the temple. The temple of Bhatmavadi Amman was also much magnificent in the great city. After visiting the temple, we were definitely hungry because we had been traveling over a lot of kilometers. We walked a lot of time in the troubling sun. We went to the hotel again to uh, fill up our stomach to get even more energetic to continue our journey for the more. After getting the beautiful and extraordinary uh, lunch from the restaurant, we again boarded onto our bus to reach the Kalahi to reach Sri Kalahasti, where the magnificent and the great Kalahasti Swara Temple is present. We reached, the we reached the temple and we again uh, went to the queue of the temple and the queue moved away. We also reached the shrine of Kalahasti Sura. We were excited and shocked and were more uh, happy after seeing the shrine, the statue. The statue of Lord Kalahasti Sura is very much uh, different to other Shivan temples across the country. Also, this is called as the special temple for Lord Shiva. Do you know guys, this is the temple, Kalahasthiswara temple is the temple which is not closed during solar eclipse or lunar eclipse. All other temples will be closed. This is the only temple which will be not closed even on those days. Also, uh, the, the statue has the, it was so uh, special, it has the structure of uh, snake or nagam which is enclosing uh, which is surrounding the statue uh, when you have the uh, chance of visiting the temple you will be definitely excited and astonished to see the magnificent and the special statue don't forget to do that and we all were excited happy and our minds were full our body was energetic and we again we boarded again into the bus and the bus started to move towards my home city and my home place, Coimbatore. And in the NH, in the way, the bus stopped to have dinner. And after having a great South Indian dinner, we again boarded into the bus to reach our home city soon. The bus traveled fast like a lightning in the NH to reach Coimbatore. Next day morning, 7.30, we reached Coimbatore and we were much excited and also were ready to explain about our journey to this grand, old and wonderful Tirupati 
city and Tirumala hills and the great Lord Venkateshwara temple. Also, my friends, this temple is not only a place which, uh, which is full of spirituality and uh, infrastructure. It is also a temple which is giving employment and uh, help for thousands of people across Andhra Pradesh, across the city and across and above the hills in the temple complex also. This way, I believe you enjoyed this video and I believe you enjoyed this magnificent journey and definitely if you have a chance to move for a trip, your destination should be definitely the Tirupati temple. Thank you guys. We will meet the next day, next video. Bye.